Interestingly enough, Bryce was my first recruiting violation. He actually came to our campus on dead period. And I'd done all the paperwork, we didn't know the date. And I remember sitting in the office talking to Bryce and his parents, and I got a phone call from our compliance officer, and she said, is Bryce Abbey sitting in front of you? And I said, yes, and she said, you need to ask him to leave. It's our mistake, but he shouldn't be here on campus. And so immediately my first thought was, oh no, we just lost Bryce Abbey. And about two days later he called me up and he decided to come to school at UNK. You know, his uh, determination, his, his work ethic, and everything that he put into it, um, there were several things I took away from it. One was that he was very disciplined in terms of his nutrition, his extra workouts, and you could just tell, even from an early age when he came in as a freshman, that it was, there was something special about Bryce. He was the first young man that came straight out of high school and, and did not red shirt and was a four-time All-American for us here at UNK. And he won over 30 matches every single year, and that's a lot. Uh, to accumulate that kind of record from a freshman all the way to his senior year. He did eventually eclipse Ali Amari Lassi's win record, which was 121 career wins, and Bryce ended up, I think, with 134 career wins. So there was a few years there before Travel Delognev came on the scene that Bryce actually was the all-time career win leader at UNK. He was never a national finalist. One of the things that I know that was heart-wrenching, not just to him, but I think to all of his teammates and myself, but consistent, consistently a part of four RMAC championship teams, conference championship teams, a team that brought home the first trophy from the national tournament. He, he was a big part of that and leading us the way he did. He's definitely deserving and we're very proud of him and, and we're excited for him. And Bryce Abbey, congratulations.